Hey YouTube, it's Diva Dimples. Um, as promised, I wanted to give you a video of some of the things that I eat. So I'm going to give you a quick video. I have a few things that I need to go over, so I'm going to make it quick. Um, so, um, let's start over here in the corner. Um, for breakfast foods, if I want some cereal, I've been eating Special K, multigrain oats and honey. I mean, I like it. I've tried Kashi and things of that nature, but if you're going to be eating a little bit of it, you might as well have it to taste good and you're not eating a whole serving size so that's what I like for breakfast also for breakfast I love these um, Jimmy Dean omelets um, one omelet has 15 grams of protein It's basically just um, egg cheese and um, sausage um, for your breakfast um, when I want something a little different I have these and I try to get things that's all natural wheat you know gluten free and things of that nature I have these um, totally natural um, mini waffles and I might eat just like maybe one or two um, for breakfast in the morning <laughs> and y'all gonna laugh at this now y'all know I said I don't like oatmeal but I've actually purchased this from the store it's maple and cream oatmeal I got it for a dollar so I'm going to try it out y'all know I said I don't like oatmeal because of the golden child movie so y'all know I don't eat oatmeal but hey I brought it anyway um, when I want something like hot cocoa I got this from my doctor's office um, hot cocoa it has like um, let's see, 15 grams of, for one cup for um, hot cocoa. Um, of course, I buy a lot of fruits. This is some cherries in the box. I have grapes, um, strawberries, I have watermelon. I love fruits in the morning. Um, as well as the vegetables here, um, when I buy, I try to stay away from canned vegetables, but when I do, because I always try to buy them frozen or fresh, um, I do get the organic. I like sweet peas, so I get organic sweet peas. Um, I have organic green beans here. Um, found this at the store, and I want to just try it, and it actually came out good. It's chicken chow mein, and basically it's just dark meat. Um, with some stir fried vegetables and it's really good if you want like an Asian type meal. I do still do soups. I try to do vegetarian and things of that nature. Stuff that's really good. Um, I didn't like refried beans um, before the surgery but now I have a liking for them so I get the fat free refried beans. And I love my beanie weenies. So I get beanie weenies. Um, and normally I also like to get the Campbell's pork and beans and get my own weenies. Um, and make them because sometimes these can be like a little ugh, you need a little seasoning to them um, I'm always in for stuff for convenience when I'm at work I want to grab and go so some, I grab these and it's like a chicken salad and it has five crackers and I don't even eat the crackers maybe like one or two this is the chicken salad and this is the tuna um, salad here um, sardines my grandmother turned me on to these when I was young. I like the ones in the mustard sauce. I either eat them plain or on crackers. Some people may say, ew, but hey, I like sardines. Um, I saw this on a couple people's um, site, and I tried it because I was always a pasta rice girl. So I got the quinoa, and I have tried it. I've actually cooked it in some chicken broth, and it's pretty good. I mix it with some vegetables like cucumbers, tomatoes, and make like a little salad of it. And it's really good. I've even got some um, recipes off of YouTube, which I follow. And it's really, really good. Um, back here, <laughs> don't judge me, y'all. I like Paula Deen. So these are some fresh green beans. But they have a little pat of butter, like a compound butter that's made of bacon and butter. I mean, that little pat of butter can't um, do nothing but flavor these green beans. But I like that, and I like Paula Deen. Um, I also have, I don't know if I showed you this. Um, maybe picking up for a second time on um, the bacon this is gluten-free bacon this is my first time trying this this is naturally smoked fully cooked and I'm gonna try this now this is not my normal milk I normally drink count calorie countdown by hood which is 70 calories I think it's like three grams of sugar and things of that nature but they were out of it but I needed something to actually mix my um, shakes up with so I just brought the silk light which was the lowest calorie thing next um, here I have some turkey franks. Um, like when I want to have a hot dog, or I just boil one just to eat. Um, I can probably only eat half of it, um, but hey, it's turkey. And here's some lean, thin, boneless pork chops. And what I do with these, I actually either saute them down with some vegetables, onions, peppers, and things of that nature, and have it as with a side or something of that nature as well. Um, got these from the Whole Foods store. It's salmon cake bites. It's almost like a crab cake but it's a salmon cake. Um, they're little. They're really good. Portable. Um, I put them in the oven, bake them, 
they're really good. Now, before the surgery, I did not like tilapia. But now I buy the tilapia in the bag, and it comes in a little individual wrapping papers. Um, because being from the South, you know, we eat catfish, snapper, things of that nature. Now, when I do want a cracker, I go with Simply Sociable. And they're actually golden wheat. They're actually wheat crackers if I want to have a cracker. But that's very rare. Um, so... I have the crystal light like everybody else do. My favorite is raspberry lemonade. Um, of course, everybody knows about the vitamin water. And I recently found this, um, protein H2O. I think this is maybe the knockoff or the substitute made by Muscle Milk um, for like Isopure. I also have that too in my refrigerator. Some people call it Isopuke. But hey, when I want a hot tea, I like this. Um, it's black tea, Tustin Lemon by Lipton. Um, it has a really good flavor, it's very robust, and it does the job for me, and that's what I use. Um, when I have a weak moment, and we all do, and I want a little something, because I try to, I don't even eat fried foods, but when I want something that tastes like it's fried, I purchase these. And I, what I do is just run them in the oven, and I may have like a handful of them, um, and that takes the fried food craving from me, because it's like a tater tot, and it's like crispy, and it gets that little... Um, fried food taste out of my mouth like if I want McDonald's french fries or something like that I just put a couple of these in the oven and I'm on my way of course if I do get buns which I can't even eat a whole bun um, I get 100% wheat and I just cut it in half or eat half of a half or something of that nature I do buy frozen fruit to go in my wonderful Ninja 1100 blender when I want to make my smoothies I had to Put that pitch in there. Um, it's a wonderful gadget. If you don't have it, you should get you one because I love it. Um, and here, my friend recommended this to me. It's actually vitamin. It's a liquid vitamin. You can get it from Walgreens. No, I'm sorry. Walmart. And it's calcium and vitamin 3D. Um, D3. And that's supposed to be really, really good for us. And it's lactose free. Um, so she recommends it to me. It has a natural citrus flavor. Haven't tasted it yet. We'll be trying it soon. Um, when I want something like a soup, again, I do the creamy chicken. It's the handheld, convenient to bring to work. I'm still on my Andre chicken soup flavor. Um, this is really good for your newbies out there. For the ones that you're on a liquid diet or you can't have anything solid, this was a lifesaver. So basically, you know, you take this, put it in some warm water, and you sip it, sip it, sip it, sip it. Um, but I still cook with it because it's high in protein, things of that nature. is very good. Now, my favorite protein is Andre chocolate with Splendor. But because you have to order it all the time, you know, order it, order it, and you have to wait for it to come, and I run out. I just go to my local Target and I get EAS and I love the chocolate and I mix it with chocolate hood milk to make it like a real chocolate flavor because just mixing the chocolate with white milk um, sometimes make it a little bland and I really have a real chocolate taste when I mix the chocolate protein with the chocolate milk wonderful and when I want something fruity like with my frozen fruits here I mix it with the gladiator you know you get like almost 45 grams of protein with this gladiator vanilla. I just went to the Smoothie King, purchased that, um, and it actually works well for me. Um, if I want a little pat of butter or something like that, I buy Can't Believe It's Not Butter. Um, but for the most part, this is what I eat. You know, if I see something new or see something interesting, I try. Oh, I forgot all about my Trot 50 because this is my first time purchasing this as well. Um, this is. I drink water all the time. That is my drink of choice. I love... Now, before the surgery, I was a Sprite girl. I love Sprite. That's all I drink. Um, but when I want a little flavor, if not for the protein waters and things of that nature, I am going to try this. It's Trop 50. It's 50% 50 less sugar and calories. I'm only going to drink a little bit of it, but it's just to get the flavor and the taste. And once I get that flavor and the taste of different things, you know, it's not like I'm going to, like... You know, you know, overindulge in it. I just, you know, basically drink what I can or eat what I can, and that's basically it. But this is just um, a few things that I eat. Um, I tried to give you while I was actually cleaning out my cabinets, um, trying to show you exactly what I eat on a daily basis. And some of this changed because I do sushi. Um, you know, little things like that. Like today, I had some beans, just some beans work and that's all I had um, it just depends on how I feel I, I eat a lot of beans like red beans 
white beans, things of that nature, things that I, I haven't shown, you know, because I have a lot of stuff like in my pantry, things of that nature. But this is just like a little summary and hope you enjoy.